What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Mike and today's video is going to be about the one team goalie draft strategy. Guys, before we jump into this video, make sure you follow us on Twitter, subscribe if you're not already, and make sure you jump in our Discord that is full of active fantasy hockey members. Without further ado, let's jump into the video where I will break down the one team goalie draft strategy. Draft strategies are the most important part of setting yourself up for a successful season. As part of our draft strategy video series, I'm going to show you a new and effective strategy for drafting goalies known as the one team goalie strategy. Over the past two years in my high stakes four player keeper league over on Yahoo, I finished in second place out of 12 using this strategy in back to back years. Simple enough, the goal for your draft is to take a starting goalie and the backup goalie from one team and ride them for the season. Now in some leagues, wins and total saves weigh heavily and the strategy may be ineffective, but I will explain how you can counteract this. But for leagues with save percentage and goals against average, this strategy is viable and can help you win each and every week. In 2021, I rolled with Kemper and Francois for the entire season and won my goalie categories almost every week. Colorado was dominant, Kemper had a Vesna caliber season as a result, and the games where Francois played in, he was just as effective. On the screen now you'll see Kemper's 2021 stats. 37 wins, just 12 losses, 5 shutouts, a 921 save percentage, and a 254 goals against average. Kemper was easily a top 5 goalie in most leagues, but now we want to look at the backup goalie in Francois. 15 wins, just 5 losses, a 916 save percentage, and a 255 goals against average. At season end, if you rolled with just these two goalies each week, you would end with 52 wins, a 919 save percentage, and a 242 goals against average. Now Kemper was a very high pick. I took him in the third round. Exhausting an early pick for a top end goalie in my league where goalies are very important to win the head to head matchup. Francois on the other hand was drafted near the end of the draft in round 18 and this allowed me to focus more on skaters through the mid part of the rounds where goalies typically get taken. You may be saying to yourself, okay you got lucky with Colorado, what about other teams? If you went Markstrom as your one goalie and Daniel Vladar as your two goalie, this resulted in 50 wins, a 917 save percentage, and a 236 goals against average. What about Florida with Bobrovsky and Knight? 58 wins, a 910 save percentage, and a 270 goals against average. I now want to compare the stats that I just told you about with the stats of two starting goaltenders that you may have taken. Let's say in round 7 you took Demko, who many experts were very high on, us included, and then in round 10 you went Bennington. The ending stats for your goalies that season were 51 wins, 36 losses, 909 save percentage, and a 277 goals against average. Maybe these aren't two ideal goalies, but if you were to take Demko and Binnington last season, I bet most people would be happy with the goaltending choices. Again, this is more effective in head-to-head -head contests that feature goals against average and save percentage, some of the higher volume goalies that have high variance, and overall, more risk than taking two goalies from elite teams. Not only do you save yourself two mid-round picks, but it offers a high floor for your peripheral goalie stats. As I mentioned earlier, there's going to be a problem you face with the volume because you're only starting two goalies from one team. The way to counteract this is to stream goalies that are on back-to-backs. As we've seen more and more in leagues, plenty of teams play a number of back-to-back -back games and typically, and typically the starting goalie will get the more difficult matchup. For the second game, most of the time, it will be an easier opponent. And this is a perfect opportunity for you to stream the backup goalie to gain some volume. Goalies like Antti Ranta on Carolina, Brian Elliott on Tampa, or even Casey DeSmith on Pittsburgh were virtually unowned across all leagues but still put up solid numbers. So of course, what other way to conclude this video than to give you my favorite one team goalies to target. The obvious number one is Alexander Georgiev and Pavel Francouz from the Avalanche. Not only are they the best offensive team last season, but also one of the best defensive teams. Secondly, I like Frederick Anderson, Antti Ranta of the Carolina Hurricanes, another strong defensive team that will have no trouble succeeding this year. The third pairing, and this may be a bit more off the board, is Logan Thompson and Laurent Bressois from Vegas. With the news that Leonard's been shut down for the entire season, these guys will be fighting for a spot on a very strong Vegas team. Obviously, there's plenty of options, and if you feel confident in a team to have a strong offensive season and put up some pretty good defensive numbers this year, why not take a chance and draft both of their goalies to save yourself the headache? Now, there's no perfect strategy, but for me, this is one that I have used and have found considerable success doing so. I'm very curious to hear your feedback, good and bad, and feel free to let me know your favorite one-team goalie pairings. That will do it for our one-team goalie strategy video. If you enjoyed the video and want more fantasy hockey content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.